Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back with a vlog today and I'm off to meet Luke. So I thought I would vlog because we're going to hit the shops and see what's left in the after Christmas sales because today is the last day of January. Woohoo! It has been quite a long month, hasn't it? But actually, it's been quite long, but it's also flown by at the same time. Let me know in the comments whether January has gone slowly for you or whether it's gone by in a flash. I feel like parts of it seem to drag, but then also it seems to have been, yeah, seems to have been gone in a flash. But yeah, I'm off to meet Luke now. We're meeting at our usual spot in Green Park, which is very convenient and it's also near lots of the shops. So I just thought we'd have a little browse, a little mooch, and I would take you with me. I have made it to Green Park. It is quite fresh today. So I'm wearing this brown coat that I've had for ages. I've had this for a good few years now from H&M. It's done me well. And also this scarf, that is a charity shop find. This is a Dunhill scarf, nice and warm. I've just got some black jeans on and my Reebok trainers that I got from the car boot sale. And Green Park is still looking very wintry, but it won't be long until all these spring bulbs come out. Here he is. Oh, have you started it? Yeah, I've started they... it. I think I'm going to go, hello everybody. <laughs> I was expecting the intro. Good yeah. morning, everyone. Hi, how So are we? we have met. We are now on New Bond Street. Very fancy. And we're for coffee. We are. We usually go to, uh, well, we like Ralph's, which, which is here. just here, and literally. We, yeah, we thought we'd change it up. So I've found a place what's called, what's it called again? Ever, Evergreen. Okay. No, that's wrong. Everbean. Like Ever Bean. Bean. Ever Bean. I see what they did there. Looks very nice. nice where up. is it? Uh, 10 minutes, uh, no, six minutes up near the square, Bar Bar Barker Square. Oh, yeah. Where I had to um, nearly park a car and it was bad situations at that one. Oh, the yeah. Oh, God, we sound fancy. Sounds like I'm showing off. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I had an Sorry. experience on that square where, yeah, I was um, I was loaned very kindly a Bentley. I wore this coat for that actually. I Let me insert this. a picture. Yeah. I was just saying how long I've had this coat for, and it's been a while. So yeah, I'll insert a picture of it. Nineteen. 18? Yeah, or maybe eighteen even. But um, as some of you may know, I'm not the most confident driver. And around London, when you're loaned a Bentley and then you have to come back and park it in rush hour, I. Well there was nearly tears and I, swear words. Why is it I wouldn't have done that, I'm not going to lie. I really thought I was going to. Anyway, let's go yes. and grab a coffee. And evergreen, not evergreen. <laughs> Louis Vuitton is looking very fabulous. Look at these bright little characters on the side. Wow. <laughs> Here we are, we've just arrived at Everbean. So we're going to go on in and get a coffee. We've got a nice selection of sandwiches and pastries in here too. We have sat outside, but I think we're going to promptly move inside because <laughs> British weather outside in January is ambitious. We probably could, but it's just starting to spit a little bit. So yeah, we're still on holiday, now, yeah. aren't we? We're like, right, let's just sit outside. Yeah. A bit early. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But how lovely is this? Got a nice, nice latte. Our coffee was lovely. We've just stopped to have a little look at this mini. We've seen this one before, I think, but with some different decoration on it. Got quite the display going on here outside this restaurant. So first things first, we're going to hit some charity shops and we're heading into the Bernardo's first of all yes. in Marlebone. Oh, they've got a sale on. Oh, yes. They've got a huge Harrods hamper in the window there. That's a hundred pounds, mind. Quite expensive. Heading straight to the menswear, see what they've got. Yeah. I've just done my big clear out, so. One in, two out. Exactly. What have we got? Some Zara. Luke's found a barber jacket. How much is that? 44. Oh, that's that's pretty good. A, yeah, for a. Yeah. It's oh, nice. Nice quality as well. Yeah. Barber's last year as well. I've had yeah, really nice. Actually. Very good. Got some cool detail on the sleeves. Oh, I think I recognise this mug. I think we might have seen this in a window around oh, Christmas time. Oh no. Oh, it's um. I think we saw this in Liberty's windows. These sort of mugs. Yes, maybe it is Liberty, you're right? Yeah, it's like a different brand, isn't it? Uh, trying to make that out. Don't recognise the skew. Mm -hmm. That is ten pounds. 
Yeah. Luke's just spotted these gold picture nice frames. Right I'm just thinking maybe they'd be quite good either side of my mirror in the bathroom. Ooh, what do you yeah. think? They're nice, aren't they? They're A4. I think they're A4, aren't they? Yeah. This is sweet. The dried flowers in it. I've just spotted a fridge magnet from Barcelona. Some of you might remember myself and Luke went on a little trip there recently. Well, last year, as part of the um, mini cruise that we did. This is sweet. There's some nice stuff in Bernardo's. Indeed. Made a little purchase. Yes, well done. And we're now heading to the Oxfam Marlebone. Yeah. So we're just walking up Marlebone High Street at the moment. It's very busy, isn't it? It is, it is. It's all going on today, Tuesday morning. Everyone's celebrating the last day of January. That's it, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're heading into Oxfam now and they've got a sale on as well. found another Barcelona item. This is a mug and it's the same um, kind of tile work that we just saw in that magnet, I think. It's quite a nice old print for nine pounds. This Oxfam has absolutely loads of books, so it's a great one to come to if you're after some books to read. <laughs> Got the life-changing magic of tidying. Just having a look at some of the new stuff that they sell. They've got some nice pet things, including these cat mugs and treat containers, little food bowls, really sweet. Cat dominoes. It's always good to check the window to see what they've got in terms of nice bits in the cabinet. They've got a Liberty clock there that's very sweet. Kristen Laboutins. Okay, next stop, Cancer Research. I do like this one. They've usually got some nice bits in here. A quick look what they've got in the window. Some nice boots. Balenciagas. This is where I picked up a Ralph Lauren shirt last time we were in this part of town. Got some nice shirts in store. Really nicely presented in here. Oh, they've got that mug again that we saw earlier. <laughs> it was £10 in Bernardo's, £8 in here. There we go. We've swung into H&M and we're both trying on some trousers. I'm just trying on these Czech ones. These are £10 in the sale. I think I might get these. They're quite nice. They're kind of quite loose, um, but I quite like that. Quite a nice fit. We're in this fancy changing room that has a curtain between. So I think we can, Hiya. there we go. Hello. How are you getting on? Luke's trying some jeans you know on. What? They're all right, but they're like. Oh, they're big. Sizing's all over the shop. I wish I had that issue at the moment. After my all-inclusive, mine's gone the other way. <laughs> There's literally no space in these. What do you think? I like them a lot. Yeah. So we're just heading down Carnaby Street now and we're gonna head to the Mine Charity Shop, which is just around the corner. Let's go and take a look inside. My coach wash bag here. is 50 pounds. We 
have stopped for a bite to eat. We swung by Pret. I've got a tuna baguette. Luke's got a tuna sandwich. Mm -hmm. We've got our coffees on subscription. We've got a nice little latte. Soy latte with hazelnut. Ooh. What have you got? Cappuccino. 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 Mm. And we sat outside Starbucks because um, Pret was busy. So we're just um, sitting here hoping we won't get moved on. <laughs> it's nice to sit outside. It looks like it might rain at any minute. Mm. but. Um, yeah, we just felt the need for a little pit stop sandwich stop before we head on. A little refuel. So we have refueled. We're now at the top of Argyle Street. You may remember from our pub tour, the pub over there that we went to at Christmas time. We're going into a place called Beyond Retro now, which sells lots of retro clothing. And they've got one in Covent Garden, but I've never been to the one here. I think it's new. So yeah, we're going to have a look around in here. Like the fact that everything in this shop is categorised into colours, sportswear, different things that you might be after are all kind of categorised together, which is handy. Luke has found a sale, 50% off some bits. We're going to go into Anthropology next. They've got an extra 30% off their sale. Downstairs has been closed for ages, so we're excited to see what's <laughs> going on down here. So they've got all these different wallpapers, which I've not really noticed before. Very nice. And they've got lots of hardware options that you can choose from. It's nice ideas for the bathroom here. like a very comfortable sofa. I love these mirrors. They're really nice, aren't they? Very, very nice. Like gilded, uh, aren't they? Yeah. Feels like they've made it all a little bit more kind of plain and simple for anthropology. It's a little bit more kind of, yeah, less bits in here, kind of a bit more simple. We're just passing Fortnum's. I've just spied this They've got a new in-store gin distillery on the third floor. That could be fun. So they've got their own gin going on. Ooh. London Dry Gin. Ooh, mm. Nice. It's turning into a beautiful day. We are shopped out. We've got some bargains in the sale. Well. Yeah, a few little bits. Some bits, I think we've been very restrained. We've yes. just got some nice bits to complement the wardrobe. Nothing too wild. No, no, no. Some nice trousers. And now we're heading back to Food Green Park. Thought we'd just do a nice little stroll rather than taking the tube. Yes. We are going to Victoria Station just to get the, the train. So yeah, having a nice little stroll. We're admiring the mansions that sit alongside Green Park. They must have the most amazing views. Some of them have got balconies, terraces, absolutely beautiful. It's turning into a really nice day that sky is breaking up some blue sky yeah. i think spring is on its way there's no sign of any oh a few things poking up we'll get the crocuses soon i think but not quite yet but they are daffodils there and crocuses i think are starting to poke their heads up spring is coming just passing the palace should we stop off for a little what do you think tea tea would be nice after our our prep we could go for a, a palace a palace afternoon tea would be nice yeah See if Charles can sort us out. Should we go and ring the bell? So. Yeah. Okay, I am back. It was a lovely morning, afternoon. You can hear some rustling down here because Pumpkin wanted to know what I bought in the sale. So I thought I would show Pumpkin and I would show you as well. You're curious, aren't you? You want to know what's in the bag? And also, I just want to show everybody how big you've got because <laughs> he is a big boy now. Look at the size of him. Just pop him up like this and whew, he's huge. <laughs> and Mittens is just looking out the window as usual, but she might pop over and say hello in a minute. But yeah, had a lovely morning catching up with Luke and having a bit of retail therapy. It's always a joy. And I thought I would show you the bits that I picked up. So first things first, the charity shops. I would say these charity shops in central London are definitely worth a look if you are heading to central London. I know a lot of you ask me which are the best ones to go to in London and if you're central these could be some good ones to hit up. So there's the three that we went to in Marlebone and also a new one 
the Mind one, which is just off of Carnaby Street, which actually I thought was maybe one of my favorites from today. I love the fact they've got quite a few coach items in store. The coach shop is actually just around the corner on Regent Street from where this mind shop is situated. So I've got a feeling that they might be giving them some, maybe some excess stock or some, some returns or that kind of thing. So it might be worth popping in there if you're in the area, if you'd like your coach things. Um, but yeah, they had some good designer pieces in there. All of the shops are quite expensive for charity shops, I would say. They're definitely in the more premium price bracket, but worth a look if you're in the area. You never know what you might find. Did you see in the news recently, somebody found a, I think it was a 10,000 pound Cartier watch in a charity shop donation, and that was in London. So always worth having a look. You never know what you'll find. The only things I picked up from the charity shop were these frames, which, were wrapped in newspaper for me, which was very helpful. So yeah, I've got two of these and these are for either side of the bathroom mirror. I asked whether you thought um, I should do lights or pictures either side of the bathroom mirror. And yeah, it was kind of split actually. I might even manage to get these frames up and then a light above them, potentially. There might be kind of enough room to do that. So I'll have a play around, but I thought these were very good quality. They are from a picture framing shop originally, so they're not kind of, not your kind of high street um, bargain store frames. I think these might be quite a nice quality frame. And yeah, for £4 each, I thought that was pretty good going. So I've got a pair of them, as I say, either side of the bathroom mirror, and I'll share that with you once I do. Maybe I'll do a whole video on kind of styling up the bathroom, so I've got all the cupboards to organise as well. So I think I'll do that as kind of one entire video. Um, and then in terms of the sales, H&M had some good bits in. Also Zara is now, I think loads of their, all their trousers and jeans were down to 12 99 Their shirts and tops, a lot of them were like 19 99 including some jackets, which were down probably from like the 80 pound mark. And then they also had, I think t-shirts for all 5 99 So some good prices in Zara. I was very strict, as was Luke. I'm sure he'll show you what he picked up on his vlog, um, but I got some trousers in Zara. So these were 12 99 and these were down, oh sorry, 9 99 and these were down from 32 99 And these are just really classic, kind of chino style, slight stretch to them, really nicely cut, really nice fabric. They hang really nicely and they fit really well. So that is what you want from a pair of trousers. I've worn this color loads of times already. I recently got rid of a pair very similar that I had from ASOS that just got a little bit snug and a little bit faded. So yeah, absolute bargain and really nice quality. As you can see, they're just really nicely made and they've got the um, belt loops on as well. Just, um, yeah, very nice button up pockets on those. So perfect, exactly what I wanted. And for 10 pounds, you can't go wrong. And I also got some trousers in H&M. So I picked up these ones, a little bit different. They've got a check through them and they're in this brown kind of, yeah, just brown with a lighter brown check. And these were reduced to 10 pounds from 24.99. And again, just a really nice fit and a nice cut. Tricky to wear these with a lot of different things. That's the only thing with these. So you could wear these either with a shirt or I'm thinking just a really simple plain jumper. I think maybe just like a black roll neck or something like that. Um, and that is everything that I got from the shops today. So yeah, nice couple of frames and some trousers that I was sort of in the market for. So I think I've been quite good for, for a sales um, shopping trip. So I'm just having a little mint tea. I've got my Wi-Fi coffee and my bed mug on the go. And that is the vibe. I'm feeling a little bit tired at the moment. I've been quite run down recently, you know, and you kind of, I think it was the change of weather from coming back from holiday. So I've got my mint tea on the go and I'm going to put all this lot away and then get on with some bits of work at home. But yeah, I've noticed the sky is now really blue. So I feel like it's quite early to say it, but spring is, there's hints of spring in the air, isn't there? It was really nice in Green Park seeing the first signs of the crocuses and the daffodils poking through. So yeah, it's on its way. I feel like the days are getting a little bit longer too, which is very exciting. If you're here for the charity shop and the thrifting kind of videos, then have a look at my playlist. There's loads of them on there. And if you're new here, have a look at the one where I do 10 charity shops 
in a day because that features some of my favourite charity shops in London. I do often get asked which are my favourites, so that one probably lists all of my favourites. Don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you're new here, I post new videos every single week and there will be lots more charity shop videos on the way, as well as some car boot sale videos. Those will be returning, I think, probably at the end of February. I think those will be kicking off, so I'm very excited to get back down at the car boot sale. And if you're watching in the UK, don't forget that the brand new series of Sort Your Life Out is now on BBC One on Wednesday evenings. I've got the TV Times here and we've got a little feature in here, which is very exciting. When I got back to the UK and saw this at the airport, I was very excited to see that. So yeah, every Wednesday night at 9 p.m., on BBC One, brand new Sort Your Life Out. And you can also um, catch up and watch it on BBC iPlayer if um, you miss it on Wednesday evenings. But yeah, I hope those of you in the UK have managed to catch that. And if you haven't, as I say, you can always catch up on the old iPlayer. But yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this spontaneous vlog. A little look around the shops with me and it was great to catch up with Luke as well. I'll link Luke's channel in the description box. You can see his vlog from today as well because he was vlogging all day too. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you've hit the charity shops recently, have you found any good bargains? I would love to know. And did anything catch your eye as we were browsing around the stores today. But that's it, I'm gonna finish my tea and get this lot put away and I will see you in my next video. I've got quite a few bits from the charity shops, aside from my new frames, that I'm going to gather together and do a haul for you. So there's a charity shop haul on its way for you very soon. But thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you're watching. I hope you have a good one and I'll see you very soon. Bye.